How do you think we should pay for all of this? We've been having a, a big debate since last week when it was unveiled effectively that there's going to be an additional, a higher tax on capital gains for those uh, uh, ma making over a million dollars. Is that is that the right way to do it? Well, so first of all, we've got to agree on the scope of what's going to be included in the bill and figure out the cost. They're, they're pretty far apart. I mean, it's $1.6 trillion difference between what the Republicans have proposed and what the Democrats have proposed. So we, have, we need to right size the proposal and define infrastructure, figure out what that cost is, and then, and then come up with the pay fors And that's really the main sticking point. I mean, we've reached a tremendous amount of agreement uh, between Democrats and Republicans on, uh, on, on the first several parts of the issue. But how we're going to pay for it is still uh, the one that's going to require quite a bit of back and forth in the House and the Senate uh, over the next uh, weeks and potentially months. Let, let me throw another monkey wrench into the pay fors the SALT tax. We've heard uh, from people like Senator Schumer and others uh, who effectively say they, on, when it comes to all of these things, they, they want, desperately want to fix the SALT tax uh, issue and, and reverse it back to, to what it used to be. Do you think that's on the, in the cards or not really? You know, I think, uh, you know, it's hard to tell exactly what's going to come out of this Congress. Um, I, I think the first thing we have to figure out is how much we're going to spend and where the money's going to come from. Um, we, we, we can't start figuring out what, we're, what taxes we're going to raise uh, before we figure out what money we actually need to spend to uh, rebuild infrastructure, which I think most people would agree we've got to try to address. But, uh, you yeah, there's you're going to find great, great differences between Democrats and Republicans, first of all, on uh, on how much it, how big it should be. But even more disagreement, probably, on uh, how we're going to come up with the money. In terms of the total number, if you're a betting man on infrastructure, to the extent we get there, what do you think the number actually lands at? What does it, what does it look like? Well, it's, it would be just a guess and just my, you know, I'm not speaking for the whole group. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think the Republicans are at six hundred uh, billion dollars and the Democrats are at two point three trillion I think if you broadly define infrastructure, you get somewhere between, you know, 900 billion to maybe 1.1 trillion. So somewhere in there, maybe about half the size of the package. I mean, some people are saying only about 200 million of it is actually roads and bridges. But it, it, anything that we talk about building, repairing, uh, you know, if either physically or digitally, uh, you, you could stretch it to about half of what the package is. But the other stuff uh, really has nothing to do with infrastructure. And but, but let me ask you, because we keep going back to then the pay fors. Do you believe that the Biden administration's tax plan is simply about pay fors, meaning paying for the new infrastructure plan, for example? Or is it about bringing in even more revenue than that to try to deal with our, our previous debts and other things? So are we going to be having, well, a, you know, this costs this and this costs that. Therefore, we need to make up that money. Or do you think it's, a, it's actually a very different discussion that also includes uh, inequality and trying to, frankly, I think there's some people out there who are watching us this morning who think that part of the tax policy is to actually literally bring down the top. Well, I think that uh, excellent point, and I think uh, that's what the Biden administration and the Democratic leadership is talking about. It's not what uh, the Republicans and or these these bipartisan uh, kind of centrist uh, Democrats who we had uh, you know, uh, Joe Manchin was with us uh, Thursday and Friday of last week. We have there are about 10 Democrats and 10 Republican senators who work together. They call themselves the G20. I'm the chairman of No Labels. We have the Problem Solvers Caucus. It's 58 House members, 29 Democrats. Um, none of them are talking about that. What they're talking about is just focused on uh, actual infrastructure and how we uh, how we find a way to, to find that common ground to pay for it. But there's no question. Uh, that Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and, and the Biden administration has a completely different perspective. And that's that's where the uh, all of the talk's going to be. But one uh, of the things that we talked a lot about. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, Governor, they, so one it, of the I, I don't know whether it whether it's going to pay down other debt. There's there's a whole contingent of people that say it's not going to do any of that. It's it's actually punitive. And it's not about redistribution yeah, no. where you take it away from one person to do some good stuff for another person. It's just simply, and that's, I'm talking, talking about a piece by Lawrence Lindsay, uh, yeah. an opinion piece, obviously, in, in the journal today. He wants to raise the rate on capital gains so high that everyone would be worse off. And it's really just done to punish the people that have done well, and, it, and it's going to actually lose revenue overall. Do you agree with that? 
I, I do agree with that. And I think that's one of the main reasons why we should separate out all of this other, uh, you know, family infrastructure they're call, talking about and all these massive tax hikes on the rich and on corporations and set that aside for a later debate while we focus on infrastructure, which is something that Republicans and Democrats do agree on. Uh, and where we can find common ground and get it done. The other thing is there's tr there's trillions of dollars of private sector capital willing to invest in infrastructure. So it's not just about taxing folks. Um, you know, in our, in our state of Maryland, we, we're building the largest P3 uh, transit system in North America and the largest P3 highway system uh, in, in the world uh, with private sector dollars invested. So, you know, it's not all about, you know, just taxing folks, raising the capital gains tax and, ta and taxing the rich. But, uh, you know, our state of Maryland made that mistake before I became governor. We taxed everybody at a higher rate and they all stopped paying taxes in Maryland. Some of them moved out of the state. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.